and I'm back so what I'm gonna do now or attempt to do is calibrate the sensors this is the temperature sensor and this is the pH sensor it's uh, in liquid it's supposed to stay wet so I'm gonna pull it out and put it in these three fluids here pH 4 pH 7 and distilled water for the rinsing also down here let me see if I can lower the tripod and lower it some more is the display box so let's see put it on English start calibration it says uh, rinse both sensors so that's what I'm gonna do Raise it in the distilled water. Take it down. And it in the stilt water. Okay. Let's see what the instruction on the display says next. Press OK. And it says dip both sensors in the 7 buffer. Okay. Put both in the 7. Temperature pH sensor and you press OK and let me lower the tripod again I hope in the meantime you're uh, able to enjoy the fish a bit whenever possible so what it's doing now is uh, there's a timer going from the left to the right and all we got to do now is uh, wait so uh, let me see if I got it correct this one is for the temperature this one is for the pH and this one I think is for the power and this one for uh, no, this one uh, for the CO2 sensors to regulate it and this one for power almost there let me get a chair yes slide it up a bit this is filled with fluid I think it uh, shows how much uh, CO2 is uh, coming in and out. And this bar, you're supposed to uh, screw it. I don't want to damage my cabinet. So I just put a, sorry, elastic there. Okay, and done. So what I'm going to do is uh, press OK again. It's not the most. Come on. Yeah, okay. It says a uh, rinse bow sensors. We're gonna do that again. Put it in the distilled water. I'm not gonna show that again. Because you've already seen it. And they're being rinsed. 
press OK. It's really not okay. Dip both centers in four buffer. So putting it in pH four. That's the yellow fluid. And let's get it started again. The calibration. Okay, there we go. The temperature of the water right now is twenty. To 23 point uh, well 80 something 90 okay I guess why the temperature is that high is because uh, my aquarium water is heated and yeah I'm measuring it on top of the aquarium water which is uh, keeping the fluid heated as well in the meantime let's see if I can Show you my quarries. They're on adventure. I have a new phone, a Samsung Galaxy Ultra S23 or something. I think Samsung S23 Ultra. I don't know, something like that. And I have to say. The difference in uh, video and uh, quality, camera quality, is crazy. Look how sharp and crisp these images are. Okay, almost done. Press OK. OK. Press OK again. Let's see. Set pH point. I want it at 6.85. So let's uh, do that because apparently that's where uh, plants like it the best so we'll do that I think seems nice okay I guess I can hang it up Auto pH is off, yeah. I'll try that the next time. So basically I'm just gonna let me see if I can push on I'm gonna slide it over here. Come on. Okay, there's a latch behind here. Well, a latch behind here. Why it's uh, flickering the pH more because it's still in the pH 4 water. Oh. Yes. So let's take it out. It's already calibrated, so I'm gonna put it. Oh, let me show you the last bit. Take this out and drop a bit of the wire in the funnel over here because I don't need all of it. And I'll 
just drop a part of it there. It is boiled. Let's do a check because I usually don't like to put the wires or the cables in the water because there are some cases of heaters and other electrical uh, appliances that are used in the aquarium that uh, shock the what do you call it the fish so that's not gonna be me I'm not gonna shock my fish. There we go, perfect. I can put this to the side. So, let's see what this, this place is. We used to say four, and now it says seven. A pH of seven and 25.7 degrees Celsius. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna turn on the... Oh, let me show you, so I think it's better if I show it. Turn open the valve. This is the regulator. Uh, let me see. Plus. Okay. To the left, to the left. I open it all the way. should be about uh, 1.2 that's what it says And uh, that should do it. As soon as the uh, pH oh, it's pretty high pH, 7.57. As soon as the pH drops, the CO2 should uh, supply the plants. it's really that high I'm a bit surprised but and yet I'm not because the water has been changed recently so maybe that's it anyways hope you like the video like subscribe comment I'm out